Twin Peaks wasn't just a 90s TV show that no one could figure out. The Twin Peaks in ultrasonic testing is a great way to recognize the bottom of the weld and help find root flaws. Let's go. When we test a weld with UT or phased array, it really helps to have some sort of geometric reference signal on the screen. And usually the root signal is going to be your first choice. On a regular groove weld, the root acts like a big, fat, obvious reflector. Sound hitting the root will come right back at you, more or less, and provided the weld has sufficient penetration and isn't flush, you should be able to see it throughout the length of the scan. And this goes not only for regular V-groove welds, but also welds with backing bars. Because the root is usually irregular and wobbly, you'll probably see an irregular and wobbly reflection just beyond the back wall. We'll call this the far side root signal. You can use this far side root signal as the geometric reference. You push your probe all the way up until that signal peaks. We know that's the far side of the weld and that's okay. And then we pull the probe back, inspecting the full body of the weld and the has. From time to time, you may find a small signal just in front of the far side root signal. That is the near side root signal. The two of those are the twin peaks. If that near side root signal, the one in front gets a little bit too loud, that may be a sign of problems. At the near side, sound should really just roll over that edge, go into the root and come back, giving us just the far side root signal. If there's a problem on the near side, we'll get that early signal. But if that near side root signal goes above our limit, then we may have a problem. The trickiest part of a weld is the root. So keeping a really close eye on that twin peak signal is really important. I'm going to do some practical examples. I'm going to use this OmniScan X3 and I'm going to set it up for phase array, but I'll isolate just one angle so we can simulate conventional UT first. I've got the angle set to 60 degrees and you can see as I move the probe back and forth towards the weld, you can see the twin peaks there fairly obviously. Just keep an eye on that first peak because as I move the probe, as if I was manually scanning this weld, you can see that when that first peak jumps up really high like it does right there, that's where we have a problem. The second peak in the twin peaks is the far side root signal and that's normal. It can be there all day every day. It's going to be a little bit irregular as you move the probe down the length of the weld. That's fine because the weld root is probably irregular. But if it gets out of hand, if it gets really obnoxious, it may be a sign that there's a problem on the far side of the root. Those are more difficult to distinguish because the sound path distance to that flaw is the same as the root signal. So you're best in those cases to take the probe and inspect from the other side. And we'll switch over to phased array and we'll see what that looks like here. You can see that as I scan and around this area, you can see there's just a very faint signal on the near side. That's the near side root indication. We got to keep a very careful eye on that. Of course, as I move up this way, you'll see that develops into a flaw right here. And then we'll move a little bit further and we'll get another one. Now, if we're to inspect this from the other side, all the indications are going to be on the far side. This is where it gets a little bit more complicated with conventional UT because the signal that we're looking for actually is going to line up with that root indication. So you can see here on the A scan, it's not terribly obvious, but it is obvious on the S scan. Not every pair of signals is going to be the Twin Peaks. Be really careful about this. As you scan this weld, you may be tempted to think that those two signals right there are the peaks, but they're not. The first one you see is the far side route, not the near side. The second one is actually a mode converted echo. So the sound has gone down to the root and then mode converted into long waves, come up back down again to the root and over to your transducer. <laughs> a lot of coupling on your finger. Take the gain. We're going to turn that down so that second echo, we can see the top of it. Take your finger and rub the top of the weld and you'll see you'll be able to make that second signal bounce just a little bit. That tells us it has everything to do with the cap and nothing to do with a root flaw. Knowing some of the characteristic signals that you're going to see when you're doing weld inspection is really helpful to know where you are and know what you're looking at. So every little thing helps when you're trying to see through steel with sound and imagine it in your mind. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and thanks for watching.